Hello, Jason Hill here, gonna go over some of the comments that we got this past week on some of the videos. And this is the time where I just get to answer some of the ones that stood out, and let's get started. Um, I don't know if you saw the video with me interviewing Duff Goldman, who was the uh, star of the TV Food Network show, uh, Ace of Cakes. Uh, he's down here in Hermosa Beach doing a kitchen takeover where different chefs are invited to this uh, Abigail's restaurant, and they go in and they kind of collaborate and do some really cool stuff. We got invited to go, so it was awesome to meet him. And uh, he's a great guy. He actually uh, came out at the end and he had this really good Spanish goat cheese that my youngest daughter absolutely loved. She said, Dad, that's the best cheese ever. I'm like, wow, that's coming from a nine year old. She's getting that palate going at such an early age. Anyway, at the end of the night, he came over and brought her a little package of it. So she was just uh, happy as can be. Both of my daughters loved his show, too. So. One of the comments was from CowPow16. Great video. Hadn't seen Duff in a long time. Now I'm glad to see he's doing well. You lucky booger <laughs> getting to eat all that food. That would be awesome if YouTube could record smells and then play them while watching a cooking video. Hey, there's got to be an app for that, I'm sure. Maybe, they, maybe somebody can develop one if there's not. <laughs> uh, let's see. Same video. Uh, this is coming from Maddie5432. She says, Duff is really cool. In terms of working in a restaurant, what position would you recommend, Chef Jason? Dishwasher, waiter, what would give the best vibe of the place? That's a really good question because there's different aspects to the restaurant. You've got the front of the house where you've got the wait staff, um, your people that are serving, your, your uh, hostess. Um, then you got your whole bar over there, if you have a bar at the restaurant. Um, then you got the back of the house where so much is going on back there, prep, bringing in orders, bringing in food. Um, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to be a people person, you've got to be a server out there and work in a restaurant. If you want to be the food person, start in the back. Um, if you've never had any ounce of experience, tell the chef, hey, I want to come in and wash your dishes. And then work your butt off for him. If he's a good chef, she's a good chef to work for, prove yourself, and then you'll start working your way up the line in the kitchen. Um, that'd be my little advice. Uh, let's see. Alex Dimov, I don't know how, if I'm saying your name right, Alex, your last name. Um, he says, when I get all better, I hope to explore flavors in a new way and cook awesome, cook with awesome people like you, Chef Jason. Oh, thank you. And with Jack. Oh, he's talking about Jack Scalfani, our good friend. Um, and also like this man, Duff Goldman. And so much more. Cooking is only the language that survives forever because throughout history, everyone has to eat to live and we can communicate with the future by the food we make today. Yeah, that's a good point for a young guy like you. I think food brings us all together. That's a good, uh, good point. All, you know, people from all over the world, we all enjoy our food and social time together and that's one of my favorite parts about. Okay, on to the smoked salmon uh, video that we did. Um, and I know I still need to do the pellet grill video to show you guys what it's all about. It is really cool. Uh, Deview123, I love smoked salmon. Does it have, does it have, the same texture as lox. Lox is actually cured salmon. Uh, this salmon is smoked. I do cure it too beforehand, but your lox is gonna be a little bit more you know, moist, maybe a little more, I don't wanna say slimy, but the texture is different, a lot different than your smoked salmon. And um, they said they love the glaze, great video. Thanks, Chef Jason. Neil, thank you, Neil. Uh, smoked salmon video, Light Liger Zero, 1985. Hello, um, says, hi chef, can you make a video on how to pick up a good salmon filet? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. That'd be one of, me, one of my videos I should do under tips of what to look for when you go to pick out either a fresh fish or a filet. Um, good idea, I might do that. Um, let's see, this is Jerry, and his last name is Kachoyan, if I'm saying that right. Uh, my enunciation is horrible. Great video, except for one thing, that SC hat. <laughs> You're a Bruin viewer, he says. Um, yeah, you know, I never really watched college football. I always watch professional, and a neighbor of mine moved in and took me to a USC game years ago, and I was hooked, and I started following uh, college football a little bit more, and I love SC, so. Uh, and the Bruins are good, too. I'm not one of those guys that hates the Bruins. All right. Peyton Hillis, 41, says, What's a pellet grill? Never heard of one, and I don't see any pellet-like things. <laughs> nice piece of fish. 
Um, I'm going to do the video on this whole pellet grill and, and show you guys what it's all about. It's kind of a, well, I don't know how new they are, but new to me. And um, takes these little pellets that are compressed and you can either use them to smoke whatever product you have in there or you can run it high and just use it like a regular grill without getting so much smokiness. So it's kind of a two-in-one thing. And I will be doing a detailed video on that because we've got all summer coming up. A MAD 00502, big bold letters. What's the difference between smoked salmon and grilled salmon? In a nutshell, grilled salmon is cooked on a direct heat, high temperature. It is, you're searing the outside of whatever product, fish or steaks, and that skin, or not skin, but the outside gets really kind of like a seared crust on it. There's flavors that happen when that is changing. Um, when you're smoking, the salmon, you're doing indirect heat, low temperature, the smoke is going through the grill and that smoke is adhering to the outside surface of your product and even seeping into it to give you the flavor. Um, so basically when you think of smoking, think of low heat, indirect heat cooking, grilling, high heat, direct, cook, direct heat cooking. And when you're doing a lot of grilling, a lot of times you're going to marinate too. Um, okay. Lovely Loro. Awesome, Chef. I didn't know what your plans are for this channel, but I just wanted to say that your tutorials are great. They're engaging, and I want to try every one. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I'm glad uh, you enjoy what we do here, and I hope to keep doing this for a long time. Finally, Smoked Pork Tenderloin. Had a few comments here. Angela Margolin asks, is your dog a Lhasa Apso or a Shih Tzu? Um, she's a Shih Tzu, but she's a funny thing. I don't know. She sometimes, I don't know. I think she's something else besides a dog. She makes these weird noises, and sometimes I look at her and go, what are you? Are you like an Ewok? Um, what was that other show? Gremlin thing. I don't know. Anyway, she's great, though. <laughs> Uh, Sean Hallahan, Chef, I just wanted to point out how professional you are through your responses and your work. You're very encouraging for those who cook for a living. It is always great to see someone who cares and shows the willingness to spread the knowledge. Thanks for the demonstrations of the work. Hey, thank you for your great comment. Um, I have a lot of fun doing this. And in my other real day job, I do something, I still cook, or I, I still am in the food business, but I don't do any hands-on cooking. So this way I get to do my hands-on stuff and stay kind of creative. And it's a way for me to still have the passion and use the passion and love I have for, for food. Finally, we're gonna wrap it up here. Derek Pierman, you've already done the ribs inside boiling water. Oh, I got a lot of people mad about that, but it's a Roy Yamaguchi recipe. Look up Roy Yamaguchi, Google him. He is a master. You think I'm a chef? I'm like right here. Roy's up here and his ribs are awesome. Um, did the boiling water, now you've got to do some on the smoker. I will, I will be doing ribs on the smoker. And chicken and brisket and duck. <laughs> all right, Derek, we'll get to all those and I'll get to your guys' comments next week. Thanks for watching.